What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. Peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. How would you assess this evening? This was a stirring address, in my view. Shorter than his father's speech when he announced the New World Order. Shorter than his father's speech when he announced the New World Order. Let's talk time and time again about a New World Order. And this is the best chance to begin to establish the New World Order. Warn his people about the Antichrist about Dajjal, the false messiah. And the prophet Noah warned his people. But I, I say to you something that none have said before me. The Antichrist sees with one eye, his left eye. He's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grape. But your Lord is not one eye. The walls between races and tribes, natives and immigrants, Christians and Muslims and Jews cannot stand. These now are the walls we must tear down. He will call to a false religion and bring something which resembles paradise and hell. But that which resembles paradise will in fact be hell, and that which resembles hell will in fact be paradise. He is the Dajjal, meaning imposter. The prophet further foretold that this liar would start to conquer the world, country by country, fortress by fortress, region by region, town by town. The one eye is one of the ways to recognize the Dajjal. The one eye is the symbol of the Freemasons. It is part of their beliefs and is taken from ancient Egyptian mythology.
Hell yeah, tryna tell y'all At this rate, niggas gon' lose Can't search for water, or grow your own food Tell me what's gon' happen when them stores close And ain't gon' open up, no more That's the realest shit, yeah you gon' feel that Hunger's your enemy, but you can't kill that Nigga wake up, don't join the army Kill your own peoples, but fear Illuminatis And they ain't even real, or are they? But you wouldn't even know, because you partake if you start to doubt, they already in your mind and coming out your mouth. It's not a trick, nigga. It's a trap. Survival of the fit is what they aiming at, and niggas ain't fit. Nope. Fat as hell. Fat in mind. Body fat as well. Who use most of drugs? Americans. What's in Afghanistan? Heroin. You think that's by mistake? They can stop that. Peace last days, you better prepare for war. You better prepare for war. Better prepare, better be ready for whatever. Little be still be getting scurdy in the eleventh in the ghetto down in Columbus. I'm the thuggish, thuggish man in the pal. Throw up the sevens on these player haters. Blast the bells for the war been popping over crude oil. Off in the ghetto, we don't know nothing about it. Cause half of these brothers can't be loyal. Picture me sipping on Hennessy. Remember me? Caught up inside the twenty third century, giving the best of me. Evidently this. Put it on baby feel Let's do this video grind me quick before I get killed This is a battlefield It's how it's going down And it was just in the time as soon as I come around Gotta watch your back and don't be scared Youngster, this is the gangster party And who me? Is he the thugs that call me Kamikaze? I won't even speak about Illuminati Welcome to Babylon, man I need to speak to time Tell me how to do it, do it, make it, do it to the heavenly Won't need no hell but me, just paradise So what you gon' do, what you gon' do do what ought to come for you oh, oh, you can do what you can do It's making eyes too Realize these signs do pertain to you Do, 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 do Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. We are slow, we be a slaughter. So be prepared for the new world order. Yeah, yeah, you could yell out your brain. I tell you right now, you got three years to change. Oh, somebody gave you a choice. And all you do is abuse it. If God ain't gave you a voice, then use it. You see, global corporations not only fund and develop large technological and military projects here and abroad, they also own the consumer industry and production, as well as all of the important media. By owning the vast majority of what we hear and see on a daily basis, we have been manipulated on a mass scale as to regards to what we believe and desire, both socially and politically. Edward Bernays, the nephew of world-famous psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud, would study group dynamics and become the father of public relations. He authored the book Propaganda in 1928. In it, he described how to intelligently and consciously manipulate the habits and opinions of the masses within a democratic society. He went on to state that those who harness this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government and are the true ruling power. It is they who pull the wires which control the public mind, who harness old social forces and contrive new ways to bind and guide the world. The average American is distracted, mindless, worried about minuscule things, celebrities, as if it was their own family members. And this is by design, because the powers that be, who own the media, know how our brains work. They know scientifically how the human mind functions. They know about sociology 
and they are using the media and have used the media for decades now to entertain people with issues that don't really matter. When you have the big news networks covering celebrity issues as if it's the most important thing, it becomes the most important thing. And this is not by accident. This is to keep us out of the way. Because if you're worried about the latest celebrity death or the latest celebrity couple or the celebrity breakup or your, your sports team um, having a shot at the Super Bowl or the World Series, there's so much information about those issues that can be discussed that will mesmerize people and they won't know or care about the real issues that are out there. Well, I think this is just one more piece of evidence of the degree to which the media, supposedly the watchdogs, uh, has become the gatekeeper of the system. Mainstream media are, first of all, nearly all of them corporations, nearly all of them now publicly held, part of the whole Wall Street uh, financial system that they're supposed to report about objectively, but they can't. They, uh, right now, in uh, October of 2009, they are celebrating the recovery of the biggest banks in New York and saying that the recession is over. Of course, there are a few problems, like foreclosures are going on, unemployment is rising. All of this is affecting the American people. But it's not affecting the financial elite who also control the media. Bernays successfully identified the invisible empire which controlled the minds of men. So as the populace is mesmerized and hypnotized by powerful behind the scenes forces, as they are distracted by the latest celebrity scandal, the newest cell phone, and their favorite sports team, this network disguises itself, remaining in the shadows. Again, we see people of the highest levels of power involved in the most repulsive and decadent of crimes. They couldn't care less about the code of conduct that's taught in all major religions about treating others the way that you want to be treated. And then they masquerade, they put this false front on that they're like everybody else because your average person wants to do right, believes in some sort of a karma, believes in some sort of a divine uh, justice in the universe. And so these people need to put on this front that they're like the average Joe in middle America, that they go to church every once in a while, and that they believe in an afterlife and a divine justice. And so they have to put on this front that they're like everybody else in order to get elected and to be accepted and to not have people look at them suspiciously because if somebody goes around and openly admits that they were an atheist or that they were of some obscure religion, uh, people aren't going to throw their support behind them as much and they're not going to trust them as easily. The reality of this behavior is never revealed to the public, as the media keeps any revelations quiet. Unfortunately, these type of activities continue to this day. And those people who have been yelling, oh, the UN's going to take over global conspiracy government, theorists, they, they've been crazy, but now they they're right.